I am heavy weapons guy. And this is my weapon. Let's give everyone a few seconds to soak in the madness before we begin. This is my personal double-barreled AR-15. All the bells and whistles, the whole kitchen sink. We're going to go over exactly what makes this thing tick. Now the first thing to note is that these receivers are 45 millimeter center to center of bore. And that is so that I can push both triggers with one finger. This rifle is set up with a paddle on the far side trigger and the first trigger left as is and a grip set on the left side. It can be set on the left or right side or it can be set with a grip on either side. Maybe one shaved down. I have a shorter model of the paddle so that from either side both triggers can be pressed. I also have a safety, a printable safety shaft that selects both simultaneously or if a grip were to be used here or trimmed down, you could use a safety on that side independently. I would recommend that for having more than one caliber. There is a magazine release on the left side of the gun. There's a bolt catch on the right side of the gun. The magazine release on this side of the gun has a spacer behind it that causes it to hit the button on the inside for the second if it's pressed down further than normal. Additionally, the platform can take two quad stack magazines simultaneously. There's a lot to consider and a lot going on with the front end of the rifle as well. I have a Surefire M951 style weapon light with an infrared diffuser and a pressure switch set up on the right side so that I can hit it with my thumb whilst holding the Zenitco PKM4 grip. I've got a LMT rebar cutter on the front just for funsies. The Zenitco grip comes with a T-handle style accessory and my sling is also connected to this foregrip. This does cause deflection of the right side barrel. <clears throat> Monopotting this thing off the magazine or using the tripod lug optional in the parts kit actually free floats both barrels. This side I have a mil spec handguard that's been cut down in the middle so that it does not touch the opposite side as well as the delta ring itself has been cut. But any handguard, 45 millimeter or less, or a combination of handguards that ends up less than that, will fit. We have to be mindful of the bulk of optics chosen, like my massive Elkan here does not interfere with a sight on the opposite side. However, it cannot be mounted on the right side receiver due to the knob. Another consideration is the charging handle. I have a Fortis clutch on the left side, and I have a standard mil-spec charging handle on the right side. It doesn't have to be the Fortis, it doesn't have to be this brand. You can use a mil-spec and simply chop the other side off, but they would overlap in the middle with the receiver's proximity. This in addition, I have the standard left side bolt catch. The port door opens upwards on a left side receiver. I have a left side magazine catch that I don't need because I can simply press the right side further in. And I have a PDQ, pretty damn quick, bolt catch on the right side. This rifle can be built without bolt catches. It can be built with the standard magazine releases, but these are just nice features to have. Now keep in mind this magazine catch and this PDQ bolt release at $100 to the total price of this platform. But it's invaluable to have an ambidextrous set of controls. Now what is an AR-15 aside from the sum of its parts? Let's play with some of the different configurations available for this build. I have here a 50 Beowulf AR-15. All right, so now my horrible Rube Goldberg machine is rechambered for 50 Beowulf on the right side. Now, this quad stack magazine is not going to cut it. It doesn't take 50 Beowulf, unfortunately, or I believe it doesn't, not that I know of. Uh, a regular AR magazine will hold 10 rounds of 50 Beowulf. Now, some states 
limit you to 10 rounds, and that's just not cool. So I have my custom 20 round or 50 Beowulf magazine, because more is always better. This is uh, two Lancers with a custom floor plate that mates the two at the middle with the bottom one upside down, so the spring is free to go all the way into the second body with a coupler on the spring. But enough of that. In addition to the right side being rechambered for 50 Beowulf, we can also have the left side chambered for 50 Beowulf. So you're probably thinking to yourself, wow, I can have a double barreled 50 Beowulf AR-15 with 40 rounds of 50 Beowulf in it. You're saying that like you're about to say something even more fucking insane. And I am. Next up, we're gonna have dual spade grips in case you wanted to make this a double barreled 22LR for some reason. They do make a left-handed, left ejecting CMMG 22LR conversion kit. So in the meantime, have fun with this and I'll see you with the next horrible creation.